Yao Bin traveled through the world of film and television, experiencing golden age, full of emotions in quadrangle courtyards, joyful songs, just over thirty, and love stories in Beijing. The protagonist is definitely not the Virgin Mary. Don't lick your dog properly. It is impossible to be a licking dog. Only by not taking the initiative, not refusing, and not being responsible can one maintain their livelihood. Stay tuned for exciting content. Keywords of the novel The last winner in the world of film and television No Pop-Ups, The Last Winner in the World of Film and Television Complete Collection Download, The Last Winner in the World of Film and Television Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1 Flowing Gold Years You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Flowing Gold Years Parallel World, China, Magic City Yao Bin, who was in his thirties, suddenly arrived at this unfamiliar place. It was completely different from the memories of his past life, and seemed to be different from the demons in his memory, and also somewhat similar. This makes Yao Bin feel a bit confused, isn't he dead? How come you're still alive, and this is also called the Magic City? How come it's completely different from the development in memory? Suddenly, I saw an advertisement from a real estate developer, Jinyan Group. Oh, this name sounds a bit familiar, I think I've heard it somewhere before Ding, the film and television system is serving the host The host is currently in the golden age of film and television After a while, Yao Bin finally understood where he was. I have read many novels in various genres in my past life, and I understand that I have traveled to film and television dramas. Before the golden age, Yao Bin had read them. No wonder I just saw the name Jinyan Group so familiar. But I don't remember the specific plot very clearly. Fortunately, the system was very considerate, and soon Yao Bin continued to view the play of the Golden Age from the system, and had to roast that it was better to call it the Golden Age, but. The female lead looks quite good, with a strong tea flavor in her tea. However, my own film and television system is very considerate. It only serves as a tool without any tasks or rewards. This is also great, it's much better than being a tool person for some system, right? Yao Bin's own situation is also in line with the protagonist's situation at the starting point, which is the Heavenly Sha Lonely Star. In this world, there are no relatives around, and parents have long passed away. Quickly calm down, to live in this world, the first thing you need is money. Yao Bin was a financial tycoon in his past life, and he had an innate intuition about stocks. Before his rebirth, various big scenes were common, which couldn't help Yao Bin. Subsequently, they began to search for working capital. It is still 2014, and the plot will only begin in a year. And it happens that this is also the prelude to the frenzy of the stock market. It's even better not to enter the market at this time. Everyone is now a stock god. Under the pressure of leverage, it became even crazier, and every fresh leak felt like it could handle itself. However, Yao Bin knew that this was short.lived, and by June next year, it would be the arrival of the stock market crash. After emptying several wallets, credit cards, small loans, etc., Yao Bin raised a total of 200,000 yuan and entered the stock market. Anyway, the system doesn't have any tasks, take your time. Just consider it as an experience of life, anyway, if the last world is so fast and you die, it's all compensation. Perhaps this is also the reason why the system found itself, as Yabin thought in his heart. System. You're probably not thinking about farting. Six months later. During this period, Yao Bin first earned 100 W in the stock market, and then switched to foreign exchange and futures. The speed of money coming from the stock market is really too slow, how can foreign exchange and futures be so stimulating? In the past six months, most stock traders have been making money because everyone is buying. In the financial circle of Magic City, there are people who become wealthy every day, as well as those who go bankrupt, all of whom are gambling gods, who have invested in foreign exchange and futures. Amidst these mixed news, a mysterious figure appeared in the foreign exchange and international futures markets, spending over 1 million yuan in four markets. 
His presence was found in major trading centers around the world, invincible in places such as Xiangjiang, London, and Singapore. According to legend, he has already earned 200 million ugly yuan. If Yao Bin heard this news, he would definitely curse nonsense. It's good to only have 1 billion ugly yuan, but you still have 1 billion yuan to make up for, right? After the funds arrived in the bank account, Yao Bin had no intention of doing it anymore, and it was boring to keep doing it. With all this money, he was completely free and easy in the demon world. Isn't making money just for enjoyment? In my past life, it was like that. I worked hard all the time and ended up dying young. Why bother? Yao Bin has already achieved financial freedom. First, he bought a house, then the car, and so on. There are no such things as pretending to be shameless, in fact, the sales in these places are very high dot quality, and there is no such thing as looking down on people. The plot that often appears in novels may be the delusions of some authors. Yao Bin has also changed his mind now, looking like a successful person. He immediately found an old place to go and have a meal. Yao Bin really likes old stores like Magic City, and doesn't really like Michelin tire ratings. At the same time in the old streets and alleys, under the sunshine, on the second floor of an old alley, long-haired red locks wearing pink pajamas and white shorts sat on a desk by the window. She carelessly smears nail polish on her face, and without looking back, she knows that her cousin Luo Jiaming is hiding outside the door and looking at herself. This is also an old dog licking in the play. Anyway, she licks the dog until the end and has nothing. Luo Jiaming, what's up with you? Zhu Suasua asked. This Luo Jiaming is her nominal cousin, which means that Luo Jiaming has no blood relationship with her. Her uncle belongs to a reorganized family, and she currently resides in her own uncle's house. In the evening, when our department had a dinner party, they all took their girlfriends with them, I think. Luo Jiaming said hesitantly. He has liked Chu Suasua for a long time, and the other party is also clear. Unfortunately, Luo Jiaming did not have money. When Zhu Suasua moved away later, Luo Jiaming asked his mother painfully, why did they have no money? Not going. Before Luo Jiaming could finish speaking, Zhu Sualua interrupted with a loud voice. The other party's intention was obvious. If it was just to help pretend for his cousin, it would be fine. The key is that Luo Jiaming really likes her. It's okay, then I'll go out, Luo Jiaming said somewhat disappointed. He didn't dare to ask Zhu Sualua to do anything. Licking dog is so humble. Wait a minute, where will we have dinner tonight? Zhu Suakshuo stopped Luo Jiaming and continued to apply nail polish, without looking back, he said. I won't go too far. It's a maximum of 15 minutes journey. I'll prepare and call you when it's ready. Luo Jiaming leaves excitedly. Zhu Suakshuo still has nail polish on her face, which is the case under the dependency. She has lived in her uncle's house since childhood. Although her uncle and aunt are kind to her, they are still uncomfortable. As she said, the cabinet of my uncle's house is always locked. Because Luo Jiaming is his aunt's son, he is very precious. Think about it or agree to it, which further intensifies her desire to leave here, but one drawback is that she doesn't have the money. Should she go squatting on the street? Quickly, Zhu Suolok and Luo Jiaming packed up. Luo Jiaming took Zhu Suolok to the company gathering place, and Luo Jiaming looked very excited. Today, bringing Zhu Suolok can give him a long face. Who would dare to say in the company that he doesn't have a girlfriend? Yao Bin also found a hot pot restaurant in the alley, and as expected, this was the place where Luo Jiaming gathered for dinner, because this arrangement is in line with the plot, isn't it? Where else can I get in touch with the protagonist? End of this chapter Chapter 2 First Encounter with Zhu Lok You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 First Encounter with Zhu Lok All the colleagues from Luo Jiaming's company have arrived long ago, just waiting for him. As expected, 
he wore a beautiful girlfriend with a red lock, but it gave her a long face. Everyone is praising his girlfriend for her beauty, and Zhu Suasua has long been immune to it. In her words, anyone who pursues her can line up from the alley to the street. The party here is lively and ongoing. Yao Bin on one side is happily eating hot pot, thinking that the taste of this restaurant is really good. As for the price, it is no longer something Yao Bin is considering. The conversation next to him became louder and louder, and Yao Bin frowned slightly. There was something bad in the hall that was easily influenced by others. Yao Bin heard the sound and looked over, but happened to encounter Zhu Suolak, who was looking around because she pretended that Luo Jiaming's girlfriend was really working hard. Yao Bin looked at it, isn't this Zhu Suosua, one of the female leads in the drama? Although he recognized the other person, he wouldn't be foolish enough to run and say hello now. Yao Bin just smiled and nodded. Zhu Suosua also smiled and nodded in response, saying, if someone gives you a nod, you can't have a black face, can you? They don't owe you either. Although Zhu Suasua is very materialistic, he is still good at interpersonal communication. Yao Bin didn't continue to look over there. Although Zhu Suasua is one of the female leads, this drama is not a female lead, right? Two female leads, and there is also one named Jiang Nansun. Yao Bin quickly solved the problem and got up to go pay the bill. Unfortunately, he collided with Zhu Suolua again. Yao Bin still smiled and nodded, without thinking about what contact information he needed to go up there, which was not like licking the dog. A true man should not take the initiative, refuse, or be responsible. Remember these three knots, so that you can be fearless and avoid splashing blood all over your body, or the consequences of licking dogs like Luo Jiaming and Xie Hongzu. Zhu Suasua curiously looked at Yao Bin's back and followed her by a stroke of luck. She came out to use the restroom, and Luo Jiaming wouldn't keep looking for her. After leaving, Yao Bin got into a white Passat and drove straight away. Zhu Suasua thought to herself, it turns out she has it, but she doesn't have many thoughts in her heart. The key is that she doesn't know Yao Bin either. The other person just nodded and greeted her, leaving some impression. Then I'll go back and take care of Luo Jiaming. Now that this guy is drunk, he really treats himself like a girlfriend and has to take care of him. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have come. Zhu Suasua struggled to get the drunken Luo Jiaming back, but fortunately, this place was not far from the alley. I'm home, downstairs, he walked awkwardly towards his own door. You slow down, why are you drinking so much alcohol? Zhu Suasua quickly followed and looked at him from the side, feeling even more agitated. Unexpectedly, his aunt would definitely say something later, and he followed along the way. Did Jiaming drink too much? A neighbor watched as Luo Jiaming stumbled and played to him. He didn't know if he was really not drunk or if he pretended to be drunk in order to take advantage of the red lock. Perhaps the latter had already seen her trick. No, no. I didn't drink too much. This is my home, yes, this is my home. Luo Jiaming walked up the stairs to the second floor of the alley while shouting loudly. Mom, I'm back. Coming, my dear son is back. A middle-aged woman walked out from the second floor, who was Luo Jiaming's biological mother. She immediately hugged Luo Jiaming, who was stumbling, and looked at Chu Suasua, who was closely following her son, saying. He drinks. He never drinks, why does it end up like this when he goes out with you? I don't know either, Zhu Lok said casually as he walked into the room. He went out to dinner with his colleagues and said that he had grown up and would no longer be a little obedient mother. Then he drank beer so hard that I couldn't even control it. Without waiting for Luo Jiaming's mother to continue speaking, Luo Jiaming, who was not conscious, was dancing and dancing. Mom, I've grown up, I want to protect you, protect you. Drunk people may all be like this. Okay, protect mom. Seeing this, what else can Luo's mother say? She can only take her son back to her own room and clean up the mess on her own. But in my heart, 
I am very complaining about Jusu Alak. My son has never been in such a situation before, how could it be like this after going out with you once? Zhu Suasua knew that his aunt must be complaining about her, as he could tell from his expression just now. Feeling extremely aggrieved in his heart, even though it was Luo Jiaming who wanted to drink, he couldn't stop it. Then he returned to his small room. Yao Bin has also returned home, feeling a bit uncomfortable when he's not used to it. Do we need to find something to do? Yao Bin thought in his heart time flies, and a few days later, Zhu Suasua's experience is the same as the original drama. Jiang Nansen's aunt Dai Qian returned to China to handle the divorce procedures. Before leaving, she asked Jiang Nansen to help deliver a document to Jingyan Group. Jiang Nansen happened to have something on hand and couldn't spare time for a moment. He asked Zhu Sualua to help deliver the information to Yi Jinyan, the CEO of Jinyan Group. Faced with his good friend Jiang Nansen's request, Zhu Suasua readily agreed. On the same day, she rushed to Jinyan Group. Originally, she was delivering materials, but when she saw the grand and magnificent headquarters inside, she felt a sense of excitement. It seemed like all the workers here were elites, right? She thought to herself. Thinking of being unemployed and living with her uncle's family, she wanted to escape these days, find a good job, and move out. So, taking advantage of this opportunity, Mao volunteered to strive for the opportunity to stay at Jinyan's work, but mistakenly identified Master Ma, who was responsible for collecting documents, as the CEO Yi Jinyan. Master Ma also recognized the situation, perhaps because of his craving for Zhu Soa Soa Soa's body. It can be seen that this guy has done a lot of such things. Zhu Soa 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 is really a foolish criticism. How old is the boss of Yi Jinyan? Will he invite a little girl like you to dinner? Zhu Soa Soa either has limited knowledge or has been overwhelmed by work. Today is their first date for dinner, and of course, the location is the Summer Palace, because this restaurant is where their Jinyan group often invites customers. He often accompanies Yi Jinyan to visit this restaurant. In order to attract the big customer of Jinyan Group, the lobby manager not only flatters Mr. Yi, but also flatters his master Ma. As the saying goes, don't offend the driver around the leader. He is not a transparent person, and sometimes he may unintentionally interrupt your business with just one word. Driving over in a BMW 7 Series, he looks like a successful person, and with the help of the restaurant manager, it's not a problem to intimidate ordinary girls. Obviously, Zhu Lok is one of them. But listening to the conversation between Master Ma and the lobby manager, Zhu Sualua noticed something was wrong, wasn't it Yi Jin Yen? How others call him Mr. Ma. End of this chapter. Is chapter 3 about the left and right hands holding the steering wheel? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Is chapter 3 about the left and right hands holding the steering wheel? After finding a spot in the lobby, the lobby manager also went out to busy with other things. Faced with Mr. Ma, who was asking for warmth and comfort, Zhu Sualua finally couldn't help but ask. I'm sorry, I just heard the lobby manager call you Mr. Ma, aren't you Mr. Yi? Master Ma is also quite knowledgeable, following Yi Jin Yen and witnessing many grand scenes. Quickly, there was a solution, and he said calmly. Sorry, Miss Zhu, I forgot to tell you. My surname is Ma, and I have been friends with Old Yi for many years. We have been working together in Jinyan Group for many years, and I can also be his right.hand man. You were in a hurry that day and forgot to explain for a moment. Master Ma's explanation is really not wrong. He is indeed Yi Jinyan's left and right hands. Isn't the driver holding the steering wheel with his left and right hands? Zhu Suasua, a young girl in her early twenties, resigned quickly after taking on a job. She had experienced social complexity and was immediately intimidated. I also believed Master Ma's words. He may really be a senior executive of Jinyan Group, otherwise why would he appear in Mr. Ye's office, and the people here still respect him so much. 
The car he drives is also a BMW 7 Series that costs over 2 million yuan. Yao Bin heard that the crabs in the Summer Palace are good, so he came here today to try them. He never expected to encounter Zhu Suasua and a man here. He was right on second thought. He is the protagonist now, and this should have happened around him, right? Yao Bin quickly remembered, isn't this the Master Ma in the drama? It seems that the two of them have met again. Yao Bin thought for a moment that it would be better for him to come instead of being cheap with this surname Ma. After wanting to pass, Yao Bin walked towards this side. He had met Chu Suasua before, but he said he couldn't recognize him. Isn't this Master Ma? After work, are you eating here? The two of them were still chatting and laughing when they were interrupted by Yao Bin's words. Zhu Sualua looked up to see which person he had met one day, and nodded with a smile. Upon seeing this, Master Ma thought he was someone who knew Zhu Sua Sua Sua, but upon second thought, it was not right. He knew Zhu Sua Sua Sua, did he still know himself? Sir, are you? Master Ma didn't pretend, he really doesn't know Yao Bin. Oh, aren't you Master Ma, the driver of Yi Jinyan from Jinyan Group? Yao Bin directly pushed the other party's bottom. Although Zhu Suolua is very materialistic, your deception is wrong. As soon as he said this, Master Ma was sweating profusely. Unexpectedly, the other party really knew his true identity. Even Zhu Suolak looked at Master Ma strangely, wanting to see what she was saying. Master Ma is now feeling very anxious. He has been pretending and acting since he met Zhu Suasuo. Today, he even spent a lot of money to invite Zhu Sua Lok to the Summer Palace for a meal. This meal cost at least 20,000 yuan, and without it, it must have been embezzled from the company's public funds to pay the bill. What did he pay such a high price for? To remove the vermilion lock. Sir, did you admit the wrong person? Master Ma was still debating. Master Ma, how could I admit my mistake? You are the driver of Yi Jinyan. I just saw that Yi Jinyan's car was parked outside. Didn't he come? Yao Bin continued without giving him any opportunity to argue. What are you talking nonsense about? I am a refined executive, someone trusted by Mr. Yi, and Mr. Ye's right dot hand man. Master Ma shouted loudly, as if intending to scare Yao Bin with his volume. Yao Bin laughed and said, if you say it's like this, then that's right. As he spoke, he made a gesture of holding the steering wheel, which means the driver. Zhu Suasua listened to each other's words and gradually believed Yao Bin's words, because Master Ma clearly felt guilty, otherwise there would be no such panic. In an instant, she understood that Master Ma was deceiving herself, and as for what he was deceiving herself, it was self-evident. Immediately, I felt a little angry in my heart. I don't know if it was because Master Ma concealed his identity, or if he said his work was ruined, or if there were both reasons. Master Ma looked at Zhu Sua Lok with a slightly incorrect expression, knowing that if he didn't say something, Zhu Sua Lok would definitely be ruined here. Kid, don't talk nonsense here, be careful not to let you get away with being a demon. Master Ma continued to speak harshly. Yao Bing chuckled and said, you're really amazing. Jinyan group is good, and even a driver can make it difficult for others to survive in magic. Do you want me to tell Yi Jinyan about what you spent public funds on here today? Master Ma is a bit hesitant. He doesn't know how Yao Bin knew about these things, he's afraid. I haven't suffered as much as in the drama yet, and I haven't bought any gifts from Zhu Soalak, so losing my job is not cost-effective. He didn't dare to look at Zhu Sualak anymore and left in a disheveled manner, but the prerequisite was to buy the order, otherwise could the manager let him go. He didn't have so much money, he had to learn from Yi Jinyan and sign the contract here, indicating that he would make up for it later. The lobby manager also knew that the boss had instructed him, so he agreed. Before leaving, he glared fiercely at Yao Bin, wanting to go back and investigate what the other party was really up to, otherwise he would definitely tidy up Yao Bin well. Zhu Suasua saw Master Ma leaving in a gloomy state, 
and he didn't even know he had been deceived. He was a bit angry. She was also preparing to get up and leave. Today was a big shame. This girl, this should be our second time meeting, isn't it? It's quite a coincidence. Yao Bin looked at Zhu Sualua and said with a smile. She's leaving now. Why didn't you do so many things in vain? Yeah, we met at a hot pot restaurant last time, it's quite a coincidence. Zhu Suasua said awkwardly. Yao Bin extended his right hand and said, Meet me, my name is Yao Bin. Zhu Lok Lok. Yao Bin only gently grasped the other person's hand, which was easy to separate with just one touch. He kept holding on to the other person's girl's hand, wouldn't that be a hooligan? I just saw Master Ma boasting here over there, so come and take a look. Don't be embarrassed, you are the victim of the scam. Yao Bin was indeed right. In this matter, Master Ma did the wrong thing first, and Zhu Suasua is considered a victim. Thank you, Mr. Yao. If it weren't for you. I really don't know what to do today. I just wanted to ask him for help so that I can intern at Jinyan Group. Zhu Suasua said with a aggrieved expression, yes, she started performing. If Yao Bin really didn't know what kind of woman she was, he would have truly believed in his evil. Who wouldn't know how to act? Oh, I can tell that girls like you are so innocent and easy to fall for. You were also deceived by some master ma. After Yao Bin finished speaking, he looked at the things on the table, and it was obvious that the two of them had not eaten much yet. End of this chapter. You can pretend in chapter 4. You are listening at novel full dot audio. You can pretend in chapter 4. Zhu Suasua's face improved a bit after hearing this. Well, I don't see how much you're eating here, why don't I treat you to some more? After all, I'm disturbing your meal, Yao Bin said apologetically. Mr. Yao, you're too polite. If it weren't for you, I might have been deceived by some horse master. Zhu Suasua smiled and didn't refuse Yao Bin's invitation to eat. Immediately, Yao Bin called manager De Tang and asked him to arrange another table. He didn't have the habit of eating leftovers from others. The lobby manager quickly went down to handle it, and it wasn't long before they were ready. Mr. Yao, we have served the dishes according to your instructions. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, lock girl, what else do you need? No, no. This is already good. Zhu Suasua quickly waved his hand. There were already a lot of them. Do we need to add more dishes? Isn't that too much? The manager went on with insight upon seeing the situation. After experiencing his anger just now, Zhu Suasua had calmed down and regained his previous shrewdness. Don't be polite, don't shout like Mr. Yao, just call me Brother Bin. I'm 29 years older than you this year, so it's not a loss. Yao Bin said as he looked at Zhu Suasuo. Hello, Brother Bin, then I won't be polite to you. Zhu Suasuo grinned out of her pink gums, expressing her outgoing and outgoing personality. Subsequently, the two chatted without a word. When talking about Zhu Suasuo's previous work, although Zhu Suasuo spoke fluently, the flickering eyes in her words still proved her guilty. Perhaps in reality, she has done some work, but definitely not for a long time, and there was not much introduction in the drama, otherwise she wouldn't have been a horse master. I didn't say anything more about nutrition, after all, today was just a chance to get to know each other. A meal was quickly finished, and Yao Bin went to check out and also signed up for a membership. This place even said that members are not allowed to eat, which is really impressive. Yao Bin casually asked, Lock Lock girl, where are you staying? It's so late, I'll take you back. Zhu Sua Sua's face was a bit unnatural. He lived at his uncle's house and was in a dirty and messy old alley. Zhu Sua Sua naturally didn't want Yao Bin to drive him back, but he refused with a reserved expression. No need, Brother Bin, I can go back by myself. Thank you. Yao Bin didn't take it seriously either. He didn't know if the Zhu Lok was reserved or something, and he didn't care about it anymore. Okay, 
slow down when you go back. I'll go back first. After saying that, Yao Bin walked to the parking lot, found his Porsche, got in the car, stepped on the gas pedal, and left. Isn't he a licking dog? Hurry up to lick the red lock. Zhu Sualua was a bit confused, so I just kept my guard for a moment. Why are you like this? You can leave at any time, without any gentlemanly demeanor. Look at this woman, you just refused Yao Bin to let him give you a ride, and now you're blaming someone else. Zhu Suasua stomped his foot and was ready to stop the car and go home. Mr. Yao, Miss Zhu, before Zhu Sualua could leave, the owner of the summer palace ran out of the store and stopped Zhu Sualua, saying, Hey, where's Mr. Yao? Has he already left? Zhu Suasua looked curiously at the boss and said, Brother Bin has already left. Do you have anything to do? The owner of the summer palace apologized and said, Miss Chu, I had a bit of unpleasantness today. It was all due to my lack of consideration that I put some butter and crab meal gift boxes in the trunk. Let Miss Chu take them back and taste them well, then share them with her family. Of course, he was looking for Yao Bin's face, otherwise you wouldn't be considered a scallion with a Zhu Sualok. Boss, isn't that good? Why don't you give it to Brother Bin? Zhu Sualua refused a bit. Those gift boxes were worth a lot at first glance, and she had a number of them. The boss must have done this for the sake of Yao Bin's face. Miss Chu doesn't want to forgive me. Mr. Yao also has it. I think you are waiting for the bus here, right? We have a special bus in the summer palace, so I'll ask him to take you back. Mr. Yao is my black gold card customer. That's why the owner of the summer palace is so attentive, otherwise there wouldn't be time to talk nonsense with her. Okay, thank you, boss. Zhu Sualua finally agreed because it was really difficult to wait for the bus now. Subsequently, a business car specially designed for VIP guests in the summer palace drove over and stopped in front of Zhu Sualok. The owner of the summer palace personally opened the car door and looked at Zhu Sualok warmly, saying. Miss Zhu, the car is here. Zhu Suasua then got on the car and expressed his gratitude to the boss. He thought to himself that Master Ma didn't receive such treatment when he came here just now, so he shouldn't have acted this time, right? Besides, there's no need for that. Zhu Suasua returned to the alley with a puzzled expression on his face. After entering the door, he divided some of the gift boxes among his uncles and aunties. Aunt said in a strange tone, which Mr. Ma gave it to. Zhu Suasua looked embarrassed and didn't know how to answer. Could it be said that Master Ma was a scammer? When she came here to pick her up, many neighbors saw it, and it was not surprising that Aunt knew. Yes. Auntie, I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. I'll go to bed first. You guys should try this crab, it's quite delicious. After finishing speaking, I immediately ran back to my own cabin. Luo Jiaming looked at Zhu Suasua's back and felt even more forced. His goddess, whom he had been secretly in love with for many years, was about to be run away by someone else, with a dead father expression on his face. As for what kind of crab to eat, he had long forgotten. Jiaming, there are many good women, like Zhu Suasua, who dresses up all day and always wants to run outside. You can't control that kind of woman, Luo Mu said earnestly. Luo Jiaming didn't pay attention to his mother either, just kept daydreaming. He kept thinking about why Lok Lok didn't like him, and then decided to just lock himself in the room and have some fart to eat. Jiaming, Jiaming. At least you should eat before we talk, Luo's mother exclaimed, and the voices of the two were naturally heard by Zhu Lok in the cabin, not knowing what they were thinking. Quickly took out his phone and sent a message to Yao Bin. Bin, thank you for treating me to dinner today. By the way, the owner of the summer palace also gave me a gift box, but you left too early. Zhu Suasua had been waiting for Yao Bin's reply since sending this message. Unfortunately, Yao Bin is currently busy doing spa, how could he have the time? A woman like Zhu Suasua is the more focused you are, the less likely you are to have a good outcome. 
Besides, Yao Bin is not just a licking dog, just talk to her. An hour later, Zhu Sualua saw that Yao Bin still hadn't replied to the message, and couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. Before, none of the boys around her were around her. How could it be different to be here with Yao Bin? Perhaps he has something to do now. End of this chapter Chapter 5 First Meeting with Jiang Pengfei You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 First Meeting with Jiang Pengfei Zhu Sua Sua can only comfort himself this way, hey. Yao Bin had a spa last night and it was already very late. He decided to go home and sleep. Not to mention that he finished it, he felt incredibly relaxed all over. The next morning, when I saw the news about Zhu Sualua, I simply replied, it's okay. Upon seeing the news from Yao Bin, Zhu Sualua was very disappointed. Is she not attractive enough to him? She is still very confident in this. If you can't figure it out, stop thinking and go to school to find your best friend Jiang Nansun. After Yao Bin woke up slowly, it was mainly because the technician from last night was too fierce, which made Yao Bin feel a bit overwhelmed. After thinking about it, I'm ready to go shopping. In a park, birds are singing and flowers are fragrant, and the breeze is gentle. The afternoon sun shines through the leaves of the green trees, wudong, onto the ground, reflecting the swaying shadows of the trees swayed by the wind. The autumn in the Devil City is really beautiful, especially the golden wudong leaves. Mom, look at the nice weather today. Come out for a walk, exercise your body, and live a long life. The speaker was a middle-aged man walking with an old lady. This man looks like a successful person. Although the little old lady is thin, she looks somewhat aristocratic. The mother and son together still have a certain temperament. Pengfei, can you often accompany your mother? Don't delve into that stock every day, I'll be happy. The old lady was very happy. That's right, these two mother and son are the father and grandmother of Jiang Nansun in the drama. Jiang Pengfei is just a gambler, borrowing money to speculate in stocks. In the end, he couldn't jump off a building to solve this problem. The old lady is a mediocre old lady from the demon capital, with a wealthy family. After his son died, he was well taken care of by Xie Hongzu. Yao Bin clearly recognized the other party, but had no intention of going forward to say hello, mainly because he didn't know each other yet. If Yao Bin shared his operation records, you could ask Jiang Pengfei to call your father, and he would be willing to do so. It is also possible to whitewash one's own daughter Jiang Nansun and send her to Yao Bin's bed. Jiang Pengfei is coaxing his mother to be happy. Today, his goal is to coax his mother well, and then the goal. Of course, it was to use the money to replenish the position, and then pointed to the chair over there and said. Mom, let's go sit there for a while. Okay, I happen to be tired from walking all this way. The old lady happily agreed. The two of them sat down next to Yao Bin, and Yao Bin smiled and nodded when he saw them. He had no other opinion on Jiang Pengfei, as a gambler, he could do anything if his eyes turned red. Jiang Pengfei saw Yao Bin nodding at him and politely responded when he saw the other person dressed well. At this point, the three of them did not have much communication. Yao Bin looked at his phone and found that it was almost time. He also made an appointment with the manager of Huashin Securities to discuss some things. After basking in the sun for a while, he felt that his mood had improved a lot. Immediately got up, went to the parking lot to pick up the car, and then headed towards the Huashin Securities branch. Mom, what's that? Jiang Pengfei said bitterly, not finishing his sentence, but the old lady clearly knew what it meant. You, let's just mess around. The old lady shook her head and then took out a card from her bag. Although she knew her son was a black sheep, she had no choice. The old lady had been like this all these years. When she needed money, she would go home to coax the old lady and then use the money to replenish her position. Jiang Pengfei has become like this, and the old lady has a great responsibility. If it weren't for her doting on her, all the houses in the family wouldn't have been lost. 
she successfully went from a family fortune of billions to millions. Taking the bank card, Jiang Pengfei was very happy and said, Mom, don't worry, my son will definitely earn it back. I will show you my filial piety in the future. You, you, just don't worry too much about you. The old lady obviously didn't take pleasure seriously, and now she has enjoyed it very much. She has never enjoyed any kind of happiness in most of her life. No, mom. I don't think it's too early for this meeting. Let's go home, said Jiang Pengfei, who had already received the money and was in a hurry to go to the securities company to replenish his position. Let's go, let's go. Although the old lady was a bit reluctant in her heart, she still listened to her own son. Who let this be her own son? The old lady has always been doting on him. After seeing off the old lady back home, Jiang Pengfei hurriedly drove his Volkswagen car to the securities company, as if the money would run away in the hands of the sales manager. Gamblers are like this. The vice president of Huaxin warmly welcomed Yao Bin, a big shot, and the two had a very pleasant conversation. They were even happier to learn that Yao Bin wanted to start a private equity fund. Mr. Yao, although the control of private equity licenses has been relaxed a bit now, it will take some time to get them done. My suggestion is to acquire a private equity photography company. How about that? Well, what Mr. Zhang said is exactly what I wanted. That's my original intention, so I'll leave this matter to you. I'll definitely thank you for it. Yao Bin smiled and said, the network of securities firms is unimaginable. They are like a trinity with banks and insurance, abbreviated as the financial giant of China. Mr. Yao, you're welcome. Choosing Huaxin is a sign of trust in my work. As long as you can open a trading account with us, I would be extremely grateful. Mr. Zhang smiled and said, this is also his goal. The trading volume of private equity funds is not small, let alone Yao Bin's own wealth of several hundred million, and most of it is in cash. This is not a problem, Mr. Zhang. I am waiting for your good news. After finishing the conversation, he was ready to leave. Mr. Zhang went downstairs to see off Yao Bin, but this scene happened to be caught by Jiang Pengfei. He knew Mr. Zhang because Jiang Pengfei had been wanting to know some insider information from the other party, but they never paid attention to him. Jiang Pengfei, this is just a dream. How could someone possibly tell you any insider information? Do you want to eat a fast food? Upon seeing Yao Bin, he realized that it was a young man who had just been in the park. He quietly approached the two of them and talked about something. This scene was naturally discovered by Yao Bin, but he did not stop it. Mr. Zhang was still laughing and talking about private photography. When it was delivered to the door and Yao Bin was about to board the car, Jiang Pengfei walked up. Hello, young man, do you remember? We just met in the park. Jiang Pengfei said, this person has a thick skin. In the drama, he can run to school and ask Zhang Anren to borrow money from him. He hasn't married your daughter yet. Oh, hello. Yao Bin pretended to have a sudden realization. Young man, you're also here to speculate in stocks. Yeah, what's wrong? Mister, what's up with you? Yao Bin also patiently chatted with him. Anyway, there's nothing going on at the moment. Jiang Pengfei was completely stunned when he was trading stocks, and he just found out that Yao Bin was planning to open a private equity fund. He was the owner of a wealthy man and said, Let me tell you, young man. Recently, I've been following a few stocks. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. If you can't drink, don't drink. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6. If you can't drink, don't drink. Yao Bin listened with a smile as Jiang Pengfei analyzed stocks with him, talked about the overall situation of the country, and went back to his previous years of achievements. Anyway, it was a big profit. If you don't know his achievements or someone who doesn't understand stocks, you can really be fooled by him. Sir, seeing how knowledgeable you are about stocks, it seems that you have made a lot of money in the stock market, right? 
Yao Bin replied with a smile. Jiang Pengfei was left speechless with a sarcastic remark. He smiled awkwardly and humbly waved his hand, saying, It's okay, okay. Oh, by the way, we've been talking for so long, and I don't know what you're doing. You look well dressed and have a decent conversation. Where are you from? The latter is Jiang Pengfei's goal. If you want to get to know Yao Bin, it would be great to lean against this big tree. Well, I'm planning to open another private equity fund. I came over today to do something, Yao Bin said truthfully. If I didn't know this was Jiang Pengfei, why would I keep arguing with him? Private equity fund. Oh, which threshold is very high. Jiang Pengfei was taken aback. The conditions for opening a private equity fund are very strict, with a minimum registered capital of 10 million yuan alone. Besides, just now I saw Mr. Zhang's enthusiasm, it's obvious that the minimum threshold is not a simple one. At present, Jiang Pengfei has started to make friends. Not bad, not bad. Old man, after chatting for so long, I don't know your name yet. I'm Yao Bin. Yao Bin asked with a smile. Don't call me Mr. Lao, my name is Jiang Pengfei. If you're supposed to be the same age as my daughter, just call me Uncle Jiang. Jiang Pengfei waved his hand and, as expected, had to promote his daughter again. Oh, hello. Uncle Jiang, I think it's getting late too. We hit it off quite well. Let's go have a meal together. How about it? Yao Bin suggested. Jiang Pengfei was certainly very willing. He couldn't find any reason to get closer to Yao Bing. As for filling the position later, he knew in his heart that his stock was hopeless, but he just couldn't accept defeat. Uncle Jiang, have you driven yet? If not, take my seat, Yao Bin asked. Okay, I'll take your car wherever I go. He didn't say he didn't drive, and Jiang Pengfei also wanted to see what kind of car Yao Bin was driving, so he may not have had the idea of testing Yao Bin's background. Arriving at the parking lot, Jiang Pengfei saw a brand new Porsche Epila. To put it more than 2 million yuan, Jiang Pengfei's heart was completely in his stomach. This new car is definitely not rented out, is it? Uncle Jiang, get in the car. Okay, Yao Bin. Uncle Jiang won't be polite to you anymore. Next is a period of boasting. Yao Bin used to be a financial tycoon, and dealing with people like Jiang Pengfei is not easy. There is not much nonsense, and Jiang Pengfei has been completely convinced by Yao Bin. He also learned that Yao Bin had a large flat apartment of over 400 square meters in the prosperous Binjiang area, worth over 50 million yuan, which was even more valuable than his own small western dot style building. He was even more satisfied in his heart and thought about introducing his daughter Jiang Nansun to him. But in the end, I persevered and had to go back and investigate the situation thoroughly before making a decision. Both of them were drunk, and Yao Bin asked for the address of Jiang Pengfei's house. Although he knew it himself, would it be strange not to ask? Call the previous driver and prepare to take him home. When she arrived at the Jiang family, the old lady saw a young man at noon and nodded with a smile, complaining that her son had been drinking and getting drunk outside. However, she immediately called a nanny to take care of these things. Her daughter Dadin Dot Law, Dai In, had gone to play mahjong. Yao Bin looked at the decoration at home and realized that it was just that. Although it was quaint and quaint, Yao Bin didn't really like it. Jiang Nansun is not at home at the moment, probably at school. I'll leave first, old lady. This is my business card. Uncle Jiang has been asking me for it all along, but he almost forgot. Could you please give it to him when he wakes up? Yao Bin took out a clear card and handed it to the old lady. The old lady glanced at her and said, Xiao Yao, sit down and then leave. How troublesome it is for you. It's okay, I have to leave beforehand. After Yao Bin finished speaking, he left. If Jiang Nansun were here, he could still chat with her. If she wasn't here, why would I sit here with you, an old lady, with big eyes and small eyes? 
After Jiang Pengfei woke up in the afternoon, he was naturally scolded by his mother and patted his head. It was really embarrassing. He was so high dot profile at the table that he didn't expect to have a few glasses knocked over. Hey, there's no phone call from Yao Bin. What should I do? I'm just drinking. Seeing her son patting her head, the old lady knew why, didn't she? She knew that a son is like a mother. All right, stop taking pictures. This is Yao Bin's business card. It was left by the young man before he left, take a look. The old lady said angrily, getting drunk at noon. Who wouldn't be angry? Thank you, mom. I won't do it next time. Jiang Pengfei immediately began to promise and admit his mistake. After taking the business card, he immediately went out to make phone calls. He had to ask someone to investigate Yao Bin. If that's really the case, he immediately arranged for the two to go on a blind date. As for his daughter's boyfriend, come on. It's not to say that one doesn't want their daughter to live a better life. Although Jiang Pengfei has ulterior motives, he has been caring about Jiang Nansun for so many years. Yao Bin still doesn't know that Jiang Pengfei is asking around the world about him, and now he is rushing back to rest. In the Magic City University, Zhu Suasua came to find Jiang Nansun early in the morning and accompanied her on a stroll around the school. Unexpectedly, many people approached her, and Zhu Suasua was already accustomed to this. There were many suitors around her, but none of them met her expectations. Nansun, let me tell you. Last time I went to Jingyan Group to deliver documents, I was almost deceived by a driver named Master Ma, said Zhu Sualuo. Which Mr. Ma? Didn't he say he was a skilled executive? How did he deceive you? Jiang Nansun naturally heard Zhu Suasua talk about this person. They were good friends and could be said to speak without hesitation. Hey, let me tell you, he's actually a driver. Zhu Sualua finished talking about Master Ma. It's really too much, how can he deceive people? Do you want me to talk to my aunt and let her react to Yi Jinyan? Jiang Nansun said with a suppressed mouth. What she hates the most is deception, she just doesn't know if she has deceived people herself. Oh, forget it. It's mainly my fault for not seeing people clearly. Moreover, I even met a promising young man. The promising young man mentioned by Zhu Suasua was Yao Bin. Oh, is this a change of person again? Jiang Nansun is not surprised at all about this, his best friend is such a person. Don't make fun of me, Nansun. They don't even pay attention to me. By the way, Nansun, just now you said your aunt has a good relationship with Yi Jin Yen. Can you ask her to help me get an internship opportunity? Zhu Suasua thought for a moment and said. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Jiang Pengfei Arranges Blind Dates You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Jiang Pengfei Arranges Blind Dates Are you looking for a job internship? Jiang Nansun asked curiously. Zhu Suasua didn't hide anything. Hey, you know, I've been living at my uncle's house and thinking about moving out. In the drama, she relied on the tens of thousands of yuan she obtained from Master Ma to move out. Now, without Master Ma's tens of thousands of yuan, it's probably even more difficult. I need to call and ask Auntie, said Jiang Nansun. Nansun, you're the best. I'll treat you to delicious food once you get paid, Zhu Suasua smiled. Okay, my aunt said, Yi Jin Yen will give you an internship opportunity, and the rest will depend on you. Jiang Nansun said truthfully, and according to the relationship between Dai Qian and Yi Jin Yen, these things are not a big deal. Arranging an intern is nothing. Really, I have to thank you very much, Auntie, Zhu Suasua said. Don't be polite, it's mainly up to you next. Don't worry, my Zhu lock is top dot notch. Let's go, let's go to Jingyan Group now. After speaking, Jiang Nansun took Zhu Suasua to Jingyan Group. Zhu Suasua still met Yang Ku, the sales director of Jingyan Group, 
and received an invitation to do sales with his subordinates. Of course, this was arranged by Yi Jinyan. Unexpectedly, Yi Jinyan still discovered Zhu Suasua's birthday. I really don't know what kind of emotion this Yi Jinyan has towards Zhu Suasuo. Being a daughter. This is just coaxing ghosts. There are not just Zhu Suolak, but at least tens of thousands of people who share the same birthday as his daughter. Why didn't Yi Jin Yen take care of them all the time? Jiang Pengfei obtained specific information about Yao Bin through multiple inquiries. Of course, this information was intentionally leaked by Yao Bin. Otherwise, with Jiang Pengfei's connections, there would be some nonsense news. Yao Bin's wealth is at least a few hundred million yuan, mostly in cash, and the grand flat of Xingxi Binjiang is fully paid without any loans, which makes him extremely happy and begins to calculate in his heart. Hey, who are you? Yao Bin received an unfamiliar phone call from the local magic city, and it was for this reason that he did not reject it. Oh, Mr. Yao, I'm Jiang Pengfei. Do you still remember me? Jiang Pengfei said over the phone. Last time they had a drink, he got very drunk, which made him feel a bit embarrassed. It's really embarrassing. Oh yes, Uncle Jiang. Just call me Xiao Yao. Don't be so polite, Mr. Yao, right? Yao Bin also guessed roughly what the old man wanted to do, not just to introduce his daughter to him. This guy has done such things in the drama. All right, Xiao Yao. Last time I heard you say, you haven't found a partner yet, have you? My daughter is a graduate student at Moda University. Is she available this Saturday? I'll treat you to dinner and introduce you to each other. Sure, Uncle Jiang, just send me the address when it's time, Yao Bin readily agreed. Let's talk about it, Xiao Yao. See you on Saturday night, and I'll let you know the time and place on Friday. My daughter is very beautiful, and you'll know then. Jiang Pengfei is very confident in this. He has seen countless suitors around his daughter since childhood. Moreover, Jiang Nansun has always been nurtured by him, with a noble and girlish demeanor that naturally attracts the attention of many boys. Okay, I'm waiting for your news, Uncle Jiang. After the two of them hung up the phone, the matter of private fund licenses here also came to an end. Yao Bin naturally spent some money and recruited several operators from society, including finance, administration, personnel, and so on. The original customer was directly liquidated and repurchased. Private equity funds don't require many people, and the composition is very simple because the profit sharing set by Yao Bin has directly scared away many investors, with a subscription fee of 3%, a management fee of 2%, per year, and then a profit sharing of 60%. So no one bought it at all, and Yao Bin didn't care. He just bought all the cash himself. With a large amount of funds, it's impossible for one person to operate in the stock market. He still has to enter from the fund. Besides, this is also his own operation. Is there anything to rest assured of? As for others, love to buy or not. However, the vice president of Huaxin actually invested a sum of money in it. Because he had a positive outlook on Yao Bin personally, since he dared to offer such conditions, in other words, there are only two clients now, one is Yao Bin and the other is Mr. Zhang from Huaxin. On Saturday night, Yao Bin drove to a private restaurant where Jiang Pengfei was treating guests today. The quality was decent, and the per capita consumption was at least a thousand. In this extravagant city of Magic City, it was considered average. In the hall, Jiang Pengfei stood up while waiting. Yao Bin smiled and shook hands with him, saying, I'm really sorry, Uncle Jiang. There was some traffic on the way, and I arrived a bit late. Why are you so polite? You're an elder and don't have to wait for me below. Hey, Xiao Yao, isn't that polite? I'm afraid you won't be able to find your way, so I should wait. Jiang Pengfei smiled apologetically and held Yao Bin's hand, pointing upstairs. Hurry up, my daughter has already arrived. You must seize the opportunity this time, my daughter is really beautiful, 
Jiang Pengfei continued to praise. Hey, Uncle Jiang, aren't you too polite? I'll do my best, but it depends on fate, right? Yao Bin waved his hand. He knew that Jiang Nansun had a boyfriend now, but Jiang Pengfei was not satisfied, so he rushed to introduce him to him. When it comes to Jiang Pengfei, besides his habit of gambling, he is actually a good person in other aspects, at least in terms of dealing with people and things, he suits Yao Bin's taste very well. The two of them chatted and went upstairs to a private room. Jiang Pengfei notified the waiter to serve the dishes as previously ordered, and then sat down and looked at Yao Bin with a smile. Let me introduce him to you. He is the young talent in the finance industry that I mentioned to you before, Yao Bin. This is my wife Dai Yin. If you call her uncle, then call her Aunt Dai. Yao Bin warmly called out, Hello, Aunt Dai. The latter also smiled and said, Hello, Xiao Yao. Yao Bin looked at Dai Yin a few times. This woman is not a good bird. Jiang Pengfei had just jumped off a building, and under the instigation of his sister Dai Qian, this woman went to Italy, saying that she had suffered in the Jiang family for so many years and wanted to go out and seek freedom. In recent years, there have been no restrictions on what she can do in the Jiang family. She doesn't have to worry about food and drink, and her expenses are not less than hers. Household chores are all done by nannies, and she only plays mahjong for leisure all day long. After Jiang Pengfei died, he quickly started arranging his way back. But now Yao Bin is not interested in her affairs. As long as he doesn't provoke himself, he's not a rascal either. Although this woman has a problem, he didn't provoke himself. Why bother with her? End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Dating 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Dating 2 So now Yao Bin looks friendly and friendly. Jiang Pengfei continued to point to the other side and said, This is my daughter, Jiang Nansun. Jiang Nansun sat diagonally across from him, with a slightly pink face that was naturally very beautiful. He was dressed in jeans and paired with a white shirt inside, showing a refreshing and clean appearance, while also exuding youthful vitality. But her face wasn't very pretty, no wonder her dad asked her to come back for dinner today. I didn't think it meant that. Isn't this a blind date? Hello, Mr. Yao. Jiang Nansen's expression was not very happy, and it would be the same for anyone else. Obviously, today's blind date was not approved by her. Miss Jiang, hello. Yao Bin also responded calmly, naturally knowing why Princess Jiang was unhappy. Isn't it because her father kept the blind date from her? Yao Bin knew that this was targeting Jiang Pengfei, so he wasn't angry either. In terms of performance in the drama, Jiang Nansun is a double standard. He treats his poor boyfriend Zhang Anren with the same attitude and his rich second-generation boyfriend Wang Yongzheng with the same attitude. This is not a big mistake, after all, people are double standard, treating others with strict conditions and thinking that others can be tolerant of him. But Yao Bin doesn't care either, and he doesn't marry Jiang Nansun himself. Why bother with so much? If you can play for a long time, you can go everywhere. If not, can you find another place to go? Nansun, what's wrong with you? Jiang Pengfei frowned and said. He saw his daughter's performance just now, is this clearly dissatisfaction? Isn't this making his father lose face? Xiao Yao, I made you laugh. Maybe it's Nan Sun, something bad happened today. Jiang Pengfei quickly laughed at Yao Bin, not wanting such an excellent young man to fly away. It's okay, Uncle Jiang. It all depends on fate, no matter what, it doesn't affect our relationship. Yao Bin spoke very carefully in this scene, which made Jiang Pengfei very happy. In fact, he has a damn relationship with Jiang Pengfei. It's just a simple desire for your daughter. Jiang Pengfei was very happy, very happy with Yao Bin's answer, and laughed heartily. How about, Xiao Yao, is my daughter very beautiful? Miss Jiang is really beautiful, beautiful and moving. Yao Bin nodded. 
Then he looked at Jiang Nansun over there and said, Uncle Jiang should have told you everything about my situation, right? To Yao Bin's surprise, the old man didn't introduce him, just called his daughter back for dinner, and didn't mention any blind dates at all. Jiang Nansun paused and then said, I'm sorry, Mr. Yao. My dad didn't tell me he was here for a blind date. I don't know about these situations, and I already have a boyfriend, which may have disappointed you. Yao Bin thought to himself, I don't have any hope either. Of course, I know your boyfriend is Zhang Anren. Before the Jiang family went bankrupt, Jiang Nansun wouldn't accept her fate. She is still that towering princess. Oh, it's okay. We're all young people, so it's okay to get to know each other. Even if blind dates don't work out, having multiple friends and multiple paths is still good. Yao Bin said with a smile, as if he was not affected at all. After hearing this, Jiang Nansun developed some favorable feelings towards Yao Bin, which is also true. A blind date is not possible, but one can be friends and return with a smile on their face. Mr. Yao, you're right. Thank you for your understanding. Jiang Nansun politely said and then glared at his father, not telling her in advance, which caused such embarrassment. In front of Yao Bin, Jiang Pengfei's face remained unchanged. He has always been Jiang Nansen's father. Are you still afraid that his daughter won't succeed? Yao Bin is a financial elite who still lives in the prosperous Binjiang area. It would be beneficial for you to know him. Do you think Yao Bin is so idle? Can anyone sit at a table with him for dinner? Will dad still harm you? Jiang Nansen remained unconvinced and said, Dad, could you please tell me about this kind of thing in advance next time? At this moment, the dishes were also served, and Dai Yin quickly signaled everyone to start eating. Don't make the father and daughter laugh when they argue, it's really embarrassing. Jiang Nansun has grown up and has arguments with Jiang Pengfei. All right, Lao Jiang. Just a few words, Xiao Yao, Nansun, hurry up and have a meal. Taste the private dishes here, they're still very good. Dai Yin said with a ladylike demeanor. Okay, thank you Aunt Dai. The dishes layout and aroma are definitely not wrong, Yao Bin said. Yeah, Xiao Yao. You eat more, are we still drinking today? Jiang Pengfei changed the topic, always feeling so guilty when talking about this matter. Last time, it was embarrassing. Hey, Uncle Jiang. I won't drink any more today. Let's have dinner together and have a chat. It's so nice. Yao Bin laughed, saving face for Jiang Pengfei so he wouldn't have to hold him back again. It's really a loss of life. Ha, huh, that's good, try it quickly. Everyone was eating, and soon Jiang Pengfei brought up the topic of stocks. Anyway, this guy always talks about stocks for 8 out of 10 times and always wants to make a profit. Xiao Yao, how is your private equity fund doing? Jiang Pengfei asked. Yao Bin said, Uncle Jiang, thank you for your concern. I have already bought the license plate and invested some myself. Um, are you still buying your own fund? Jiang Pengfei asked suspiciously. Is this guy really a stock expert? He used to just think that Yao Bin was rich and wanted the other party to fill a hole with him. Well, Uncle Jiang, if I don't have confidence in my own fund, who would buy it? Yao Bin said with a smile. Xiao Yao, can you tell me the name of the fund? I'll go back and take a look. Uncle Jiang, if you check, Tingfei number one, that's mine. Okay. Jiang Pengfei didn't take it seriously either. He was planning to go back and take a look, but he didn't know that Yao Bin had bought over 400 million yuan all at once. Now he continues to greet Yao Bin for eating and chatting. Just chatting with Uncle Jiang Pengfei is not a big deal, and Yao Bin thought of it and found a conversation leader. Miss Nansun, your boyfriend should be from an ordinary family, right? Otherwise, Uncle Jiang wouldn't rush to introduce him to you. This statement really touched the hearts of Jiang Pengfei and Dai Yin, didn't it? They are just dissatisfied with Zhang Anren, 
otherwise where would they introduce a boyfriend? Jiang Nansun frowned slightly, knowing that Yao Bin was telling the truth. Mr. Yao, just call me Nansun. My boyfriend does come from an average family, and he has worked hard step by step to get to where he is today. He is currently striving to stay on campus as a teacher, and there is a great hope of staying. There is also a three-bedroom house in Sanlin, and it will definitely get better and better in the future. Jiang Nansun talked about the basic situation of Zhang Anren, which is enough for ordinary people. However, the Jiang family is a native of the Magic City, and they wouldn't be interested in the foreign Zhang Anren. End of this chapter We have known Chapter 9 for a long time. You are listening at NovelFull.audio We have known Chapter 9 for a long time. Upon hearing this, Yao Bin nodded, knowing all of these situations. Isn't there an explanation in the play? Oh, Miss Nansun. So let me be frank. The house over in Sanlin costs 350,000 yuan, right? A three-bedroom house is calculated based on 100 square meters, which costs 3.5 million yuan. He should be in debt now, right? Yao Bin is a financial professional, so he likes to speak with data. Yes, is there any problem with this? Jiang Nansun is very proud of this. His boyfriend has now bought a house on his own, which is great. You said he came to this day step by step with his own efforts. How did a student earn over 1 million yuan, and monthly payments also cost over 10,000 yuan? I'm sorry, I work in finance and like to use data to talk. Don't be surprised. Zhang Anren can pay the down payment without relying on his family, which is basically nonsense. The conditions like Zhang Anren are also good in other places, but in this demon capital, spending money like soil is not so conspicuous. Xiao Yao, you're really talking about uncle's feelings. I don't know what my daughter thinks. If we have to be together in the future, we'll have to pay off our mortgage and live a tight life together. We won't have to deal with trivial matters then. Jiang Pengfei agreed with Yao Bin. How about Yao Bin being more powerful than him? After that, he gave Yao Bin a thumbs up under the table. In this drama, the characters with names and surnames, Zhang Anren, should be the second to last poor, and the last to last poor is his ex-girlfriend Yuan Yuan. Oh, thinking of Yuan Yuan, this little green tea, Yao Bin became restless and shouted one by one, Brother by brother, Dad, Zhang Anren is not that kind of person. I believe we can live a better life together by working hard. Jiang Nansun did not refute Yao Bin's words because she acknowledged that what Yao Bin said was right, but now Princess Jiang has never worried about money, and she doesn't even know what money is. Your daughter, Dad is always doing it for you. Jiang Pengfei sighed. Dai Yin let out a sigh and said, All right. Today we're treating Xiao Yao to dinner, not to come over to train our daughter. Although she also agreed with Yao Bin's words, she wouldn't say it with a straight expression and needed to pay attention to a strategy. After listening to Yao Bin's analysis, Dai Yin looked up at him a few times. This young man is really good. Afterwards was the time for Yao Bin and Jiang Pengfei to talk nonsense, and there was no further conversation with Jiang Nansun about anything else. They were studying architecture, and Yao Bin was in finance, so there was no connection at all. Hee hee, today you are indifferent to me, and tomorrow you will be unable to rise up. The sound of Wang's hammer rang in Yao Bin's ear. Uncle Jiang, did I see that this stock was not underpaid before? Did you not tell me the truth? Yao Bin asked, although he knew it was nonsense, he still kindly reminded me. Hey! I believe I can eventually make a profit. I am a professional in stocks. As the saying goes, no investment, no report. Jiang Pengfei patted his chest and said. Jiang Nansun interjected, so you've put in too much effort. Why don't we have all those houses in our house? Nansun, you. Jiang Pengfei was very unhappy. How could his daughter just dismantle his platform? All right. All right, Lao Jiang, Nansun is also telling the truth. You need to consider your stock carefully, after all, 
our mother and I are still here. Dai Yin interrupted Jiang Pengfei, not wanting the father and daughter to argue again. Uncle Jiang, Aunt Dai is right. Stocks ultimately have risks, Yao Bin reminded him. If you want to die, you can bury it yourself. Thank you, Xiao Yao, I will pay attention. Jiang Pengfei agreed with a full mouth, but he didn't mind, thinking that he could always make back the money he had lost in stock trading. Under the guidance of Yao Bin, I had a decent meal and prepared to drive back without drinking alcohol. However, I was stopped by Jiang Pengfei, and Yao Bin saw what else was going on. Nan son, why don't you go see off Yao Bin? Even if it doesn't work out, it's still good to be friends, Jiang Pengfei suggested. Dai Yin also tugged at the hem of Jiang Nansen's clothes and said, Your dad is right. There are many friends in different paths. Jiang Nansen had no choice. She couldn't say she disliked Yao Bin, but thinking that her parents were right, she could only come over and say to Yao Bin. Let's go, Mr. Yao, I'll see you off. Don't call me that. I'm a few years older than you, let's call me Bin Gu. Yao Bin smiled innocently, thinking to himself, call me Bin Gu now, and there will always be times when you call me dad. Okay, Bin, let's go. I'll take you to the parking lot. This is my parents' task, Jiang Nansun smiled. Quickly, the two of them arrived at the parking spot where Yao Bin was parked. Jiang Nansun knew that Yao Bin's conditions were good, and his eyes rolled, as if he had some ideas. Bin, let me introduce you to a girlfriend. She is my good friend and very beautiful. Jiang Nansun began to promote her best friend Zhu Lok Lok because he had been looking for a wealthy boyfriend and was almost deceived by Master Ma last time. Yao Bin is a real wealthy person. Yao Bin smiled, knowing that what she was saying might be Zhu Sua Lok, but it couldn't be broken. Oh, then tell me about it. It's my good friend. Her name is Zhu Sualok. Hey, take a look, this is her photo, beautiful, isn't it? Jiang Nansun said as he found the photo of Zhu Sualok on his phone. There were countless photos of them together. Yao Bin pretended to have a strange expression and said, Oh, what a coincidence. We already know each other. Last time we were at the Summer Palace. Jiang Nansun suddenly realized that when Yao Bin said this, she still didn't know who it was. He was the wealthy second that generation who Zhu Sua locked his mouth and helped her expose Master Ma's tricks. Oh, Bin, it turns out you helped lock the lock. She keeps mentioning you, saying thank you for inviting you to dinner sometime. Knowing that Yao Bin had helped her best friend, her opinion of Yao Bin changed. Oh, you're too polite. I've forgotten about this, I'll leave first. Goodbye. Yao Bin chuckled. Zhu Suasua did indeed send him messages every day, either greeting him good morning. Recently, he has changed his mind and asked Yao Bin to take a look at the house when he has time. It seems that Zhu Suasua has already joined Jinyan group. Hmm, Bin, take your time. Jiang Nansun greeted with a smile, and the driver stepped on the gas and left the parking lot of the private vegetable. Jiang Pengfei looked at the car that Yao Bin had driven away and walked up to point at Jiang Nansun, saying, You, what are you good for? Don't you know what conditions Yao Bin has? He lives in the prosperous Binjiang area of over 50 million yuan and drives such a good car. What is good about Jiang Anren? He is wholeheartedly trying to eat rice bran and swallow vegetables with Jiang Anren. You don't have to worry about my affairs. I see what Bin said well, there are risks in stocks. Jiang Nansun said unhappily, then looked at Dai Yin and said, Mom, you guys go back first. I'll go out and go back later. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Listen to me and thank you. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Listen to me and thank you. Where are you going, Nansun? Don't you come back with us? Dai Yin asked. I'll go find the lock. Pay attention to your safety and come back early. Dai Yin thought for a moment and said that Ju Suasua was her good friend who had been inseparable since childhood. 
Then he followed Jiang Pengfei slowly back, his mind now full of going back to see what happened to Yao Bin's fund. At a milk tea shop, she made an appointment with Zhu Suasua to meet here. What are you in such a hurry to see me for? Why did you miss me after so little while? Zhu Sualua joked across from me. Jiang Nansun said with a smile on his face, I've seen the person you've been longing for all day, he he. So hurry up and talk to you. Zhu Suasua has been talking to Jiang Nansun about these things lately, but he doesn't know who it is. Today, he can be considered to have seen himself. Who, how come I don't know? Zhu Suasua looked confused, forgetting who she was talking about. Mr. Yao Bin, who is driving a Puramara, forgot so quickly. He locked the lock and moved on to another relationship. I despise you. Jiang Nansun said angrily. Ah, Nansun, you're talking about him. How come you know him? Zhu Suasua suddenly realized that his best friend was talking about Yao Bin. The situation is like this. Jiang Nansun recounted the events of the night in detail, and then looked at Zhu Sualua's expression, thinking that she shouldn't be jealous, right? He lives in a 400 square meter apartment in the prosperous Binjiang area, so rich. He also runs a private equity fund. Nansun, Bin Gu is really too rich. After listening to his best friend's words, Zhu Suasua's attention was obviously not on their blind date. Zhu Suasua's concern was all about Yao Bin's affairs. With the lesson learned from Master Ma last time, he had an extra heart for Yao Bin. Although he tried to please him a bit, he was always indifferent to him. He thought it was just pretending, but in the end, he was really wealthy and the big shots were very busy. Aren't you jealous? These conditions are all what my father said, he won't deceive anyone. Jiang Nansun said, although his father is very snobbish, he is very accurate in judging people. If Yao Bin doesn't have money, how can he get in his eye? Why are you jealous? Did you two make a blind date? Zhu Suasua said excitedly. She knew that it was impossible for her best friend to have a relationship with Yao Bin, and wondered how to further develop the relationship with him. To be honest, Yao Bin fits her boyfriend's choice very well. As for what Yao Bin thinks, it's another matter. Jiang Nansun was speechless for a moment. She knew Zhu Suasua's character over the years, and her best friend had always liked wealthy people. When she saw such a high dot quality man, she naturally had to seize the opportunity. Come on, let me know if there is anything I can do for you. And he said about Zhang Anren's house. Then Jiang Nansun began to roast. Yao Bin counted his boyfriend's income and future life. Zhu Suasua gave his best friend a bad look. Is what Yao Bin said wrong? Perhaps he had never worried about money at all, and then slowly said. I used to have a negative outlook on Zhang Anren, just because I thought he wasn't worthy of you. Now, based on Bin Ji's analysis, I'm even less optimistic. Why, Zhang Anren is very ambitious. Jiang Nansun said unhappily to his best friend. Can you tell me about Zhang Anren's salary, including his other work, which is only about 20,000 yuan. With a mortgage of over 10,000 yuan, there are only a few thousand yuan left for expenses such as transportation, meals, socializing, and other living expenses such as water, electricity, and gas. How will you live in the future? Zhu Sualua calculated more carefully with her. Jiang Nansun didn't think anything was wrong, just spend enough money. What's that? I'll spend my own, he'll just spend his own, won't he? Zhu Suasua looked at his good friend with a speechless expression on his face. If it weren't for Jiang Nansun, Zhu Suasua would probably curse. Big sister, did you spend your own money on that? How much is it for your current clothes, your bag, and your watch? I won't say anything about your cosmetics or anything else. Your building department is in the magic city, and Jean Anren's house is in Sanlin. You go back and forth for a few hours a day. What if your uncle and aunt don't support you? Jiang Nansun never thought about this question at all. 
No, my parents may not agree with me being with Zhang Anren, but they are very generous in spending money. Zhu Suasua gave a white glance, which is called not eating human fireworks. Of course, this is just in case. Yao Bin had just driven away from here when Jiang Pengfei called again. Unable to do anything, Yao Bin had to drive back. I really don't know what medicine this guy sells in his gourd. After meeting, Jiang Pengfei said with a bitter expression on his face. Xiao Yao, I'm not afraid you'll laugh at me. I really can't do anything about Nansun. She's just so stubborn and follows Zhang Anren. Jiang Pengfei wanted to separate the two and hoped that Yao Bin would be with his daughter. It turned out to be this matter, and Yao Bin was also very happy. Isn't this guy just trying to match himself and his daughter, wanting to fill a hole with them on his own? However, Jiang Nansun is willing to accept it and just fill the hole. Nansen's personality cannot be forced, the more she is forced, the greater her rebellious mentality. I think it's better to block than to block. Since she wants to date Zhang Anren, don't stop her here. Yao Bin said slowly. Before he could speak, Jiang Pengfei frowned. Isn't that right? Is this kid really unaware or pretending not to know his own thoughts? Xiao Yao, this. Uncle Jiang, this kind of thing needs to be circuitous. Nansun wants to socialize with Zhang Anren, and not blocking it doesn't mean you're not doing anything. Nansun has never suffered since childhood, and has no shortage of money to spend. She doesn't know about human suffering. If she wants to see reality clearly and seriously consider whether her relationship with Zhang Anren is suitable, she needs to adapt to society in advance and suffer some hardships. Yao Bin smiled slightly, and Jiang Nansen's father asked me all this. Don't blame me then. When you run out of money, let's see how you get along well with Zhang Anren. Xiao Yao, what you said makes sense, but what should I do specifically? Jiang Pengfei also heard the trick, but didn't know what it meant specifically. Since Nansen wants to prove his independence, Uncle Jiang, you happen to be pushing the boat with ease. After discussing with Auntie, you will only provide Nansun with basic living expenses every month, and other expenses will be paid separately. The card will also be suspended. Of course, Aunt Dai cannot pick up Jinan Sun privately. Yao Bin said with a harmless expression on his face. Is this really good? Nansun has been pampered since childhood and only provides living expenses for a while, is that okay? Jiang Pengfei hesitated a bit. Uncle Jiang, you understand that this poor couple will suffer from various setbacks. Maybe then. He he. Jiang Nansun still didn't know that her living expenses were being deprived by Yao Bin, so she could only say, listen to me, thank you. Because of you, Yao Bin, my living expenses are gone. End of this chapter.